Hey, I'm Lee Crosby, a dietitian with Physicians Committee. Now, if you stay up to date on celebrity gossip, you have no doubt heard about the latest weight loss fad, the ketogenic diet. So what exactly is a ketogenic or a keto diet? It's a diet that severely restricts carbohydrate intake. That causes the body to shift from burning glucose, its preferred fuel, to burning mostly fat, a state called ketosis. The shift away from our body's favorite fuel can actually be why keto diets can help in one rare instance, and that's for drug-resistant seizures. On a keto diet, the brain is actually starved of its main fuel and literally becomes less active. Now, that's not what most of us are going for. For much of human history, actually, the keto diet, the only one there was, was famine. Without enough to eat, the body was forced to burn its stored fat. However, to trick the body into a state of ketosis today, keto dieters slash carbohydrates and drastically increase their fat intake, in some cases eating up to 90% of their calories from fat. To achieve this, keto diets tend to focus on the fattiest possible meats, things like bacon, ribeye steaks and salmon, butter, oils, and some non-starchy vegetables. Most forms of the diet limit carbs to just 20 to 30 grams per day or even less. In real world terms, that's the equivalent of just half a cup of brown rice or one cup of blueberries for the entire day. Now, here's why that's bad news for our health. By limiting intake of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans, your body misses out on the vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, and fiber it needs to function. In the short term, this can cause problems like fatigue and constipation, literally making keto diets a no-go. Long-term keto dieting could lead to dangerous nutrient deficiencies and increase the risk for having a heart attack and getting colon cancer. None of these are outcomes we want. On the other hand, we know that a less processed, low-fat, plant-based diet is powerful for weight loss, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, brain health, and even athletic performance. So, despite the hype surrounding keto diets, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes have always been, and will continue to be, optimal foods for health.